guys, I'm Devaka back with another new cool video showcasing Oxygen OS Open Beta 5 on OnePlus Nord. Currently my phone is running on Oxygen OS 11.1.1.2 stable and I'm facing a major pocket mode bug. I thought I would play games on this phone but this phone is playing games with me. But before updating, I wanted to run Geekbench and check scores to estimate how closely the update is going to be in the performance department. Test done. Scores are 591 in the single core and 1794 in multi core. All these done when 95% of the storage is full. If storage is your concern. Now, if you didn't receive the update or you are on the stable version, then download the Oxygen Update app from the Play Store and get to the settings and turn on the advanced option and select Open Beta Full Update or Incremental if you are already on Open Beta 4. Once you have downloaded the update, go to the settings system and then system updates and click on the gear option which is at the top right corner and hit on local upgrade and select the file which you have downloaded and press ok. Once the installation process is done, hit on reboot. Changelog says that the update has improved Wi-Fi network detection and speeds. Fixes some abnormal display issue in the file manager when connected to OTG and some camera fixes and improvements. Let's quickly go to the about phone and see the latest version. The update comes with April security patch update. That's good. I thought it would be off March. So first of all, we are going to check Geekbench results. The brightness of the phone doesn't sync with the brightness slider. There is no smoothness while changing the brightness. This time delay of 3 to 5 seconds reminds me of closed beta. So here the tests end and the scores are 389 in single core and 1599 in multi core. I'll leave a link for the full report of this test in the description box below. Do check it out. Now, after seeing the results for a while, I forgot that I was making a video. I couldn't control my frustration and I thought I had simply wasted my money by buying this OnePlus Noob phone. If you guys remember that they used to tease that the name of this phone as OnePlus Z8 Lite thing. I wonder why did they choose Nord instead of Noob when they had an option. Do you know that Nord VPN company had made fun of OnePlus? for using the word Nord for their phones. The phone was heated up like it was about to blast off. Now all I have is to play these kind of games on my phone. Never expected this is going to happen in my life. I thought to redo this test and guess what a slightly better result. But when this tried after 6 to 7 hours of the update, I got the same 591 single and 1726 multi core score. Now I'm happy after seeing the scores. So gaming review would come soon so stay tuned for that by subscribing to our channel. Now I felt something different while scrolling the app drawer. Don't worry it's not the refresh rate. It is that the gap or the space between the rows is increased. Which means I need to scroll down a bit more to reach XYZ apps. At first I was pretty much unclear about this but thanks to old me who accidentally took the screenshot of the old app drawer. This was a minor change that anyone could not notice but yeah they had time to do these kind of things in the update. All I wanted to is get rid of the pocket mode issue. At first I thought it resolved but no it's not. So if you want to stay updated then you need to lose the stability and the smoothness of your phone and start living with bugs. My life by using custom roms made me a hard man to resist all these kinds of bugs. But not everyone. One player should realize this. Notification issue is fixed. Battery backup is same as it was before. Still reduce Wi-Fi speeds when connected to the Bluetooth and Bluetooth discontinuity issue is still not resolved yet. They should have given us 120Hz LCD display if they didn't want us to use the dark theme. Still it's grey at some parts. Now camera, OnePlus gallery always had some issues. Whenever I click a photo, I see them in my recent photos. But it will disappear for some seconds 
and come back after some time. No, it's not optimizing the photo, it's the same photo. I don't know why these kind of issues are still there. There's also a shutter lag while taking the photos and one person has no fix for this I guess. But I hope at least recent photo issue get fixed in the future. Now I'll show some camera samples, you guys be the judge. We do have a dedicated telegram group for the OnePlus Nord. You guys can join and stay informed about the updates and the improvements. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to drop a like and share this video with your OnePlus friends and family and also subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon for more OnePlus videos. I'm Divaka signing off and I will meet you in the next one. Until then take care of yourself, stay home, bye bye. हे hey, क्या किसी ने गेम पैड कहा